Hello, knife multi-tool aficionados. Welcome to the Wolf Den one more time. If you're looking for fishing, because this is Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel, if you're looking for fishing, there won't be any. Because what we're going to do is talk about the coolest sheath that I have found for a Leatherman. I found this. I'll put the link below in the video description. And I'm loving it. It is really cool. So when we get back, I'm going to go through this Leatherman sheath. So stick with me. Well, here's what I found. So, what this is, is supposedly SciTac. I've never seen this. A universal magazine pouch. Universal single magazine pouch. SciTac universal magazine pouch. Performs versatile to fit 9mm, 40 caliber, 45 caliber magazines and hold single and double stack magazines. Well, I'm not a I'm not a handgun owner, but they showed this holding a Leatherman or other multi-tools. There's this new rage out there on YouTube about this guy who's making like sheet aluminum Leatherman and multi-tool sheaths. I have nothing against it, except don't lean up against anything of mine, like, you know, my truck or anything, or get in my truck with that thing on, because it's metal. Everybody's all the rage about it. I've had something that was a lot simpler and easier for a long time. I found this on... Amazon, oh geez, last year. This is a hollow, just cheap plastic, nice belt loop thing here. But it's an accordion style. Look at that. So when this thing, I don't know, what was this, $8? So here is a Leatherman Wingman. Really small. Bam! I'm talking, number one, you can't even get it out. I had to put a lanyard with a loop. Look at this. You want to talk about retention? Oh, my God! Mm. Whew! Okay, now I'm dizzy. <laughs> I, I, I found these. And they're no longer available that I saw on Amazon. I had them on my Tools of the Trade page for a while. I don't know if anybody pays attention. I'm steering my subscribers in all these cool directions. But I guess, I don't know, 90% of them just want me to give them free trout fishing spots or something. I don't know. There is, a, like I said, a Leatherman Wingman with the belt clip I had on here. It fit in here so good. And then look how compact. It's... And it's not going to mark up anything. So any kind of other metal sheaths that are small and compact for a multi-tool, you know, that are metal, I'm kind of not getting it. I'm not getting it, folks. And there's plenty of those videos out there. But this one fits so good. And then I saw this, I guess they call it SciTac, and they were showing it with a Leatherman in it. And here it is. And it's totally adjustable. You've got a unbelievably fantastic belt clip here. Okay. And I mean, I'm new to this. This thing is, oh, there we go where this is adjustable up and down on this clip and then you put this spacer in here 
in the holes to adjust your belt thickness. My belt is running about an inch and three quarter, two inches, a 511 tactical belt, I guess you could say. And then this goes in there and snaps, and then this snaps over it. So what you have is also adjustability right here too. You pull these little wings out and then look, can you see that? It adjusts into these grooves. And I mean, it ain't going nowhere. So you can count the grooves and it's got this little bump in here, which is like a flexible retainer. If you can see in there, right? And you can, you can push it in and make it as skinny as you want. Then at the same time, you got an adjustable screw right here. When I got it, let me open this up. All right, when I got it, there's your adjusting screws. The sheath part on this belt clip was all the way at the top and I didn't like that. So I just simply moved it on down. It's all self-explanatory, as I always say, if you've got a shred of mechanicalness to you, um, this is no biggie. It's made out of, I mean, really tough, tough material. I don't know what the material is. Put that spacer in there, fits right in, snap it down, close this on there, it says SciTech on the back. And then you, what I did is just for, to keep my Leatherman a little bit slicker is I took the belt clip off. And there's the flat bottom. So I put that in here, right there. And there it's loose, right? But then you can pull these out, pull these out. and then push them in and look at that. Wow, ingenious, super ingenious. SciTech, C-Y-T-A-C, C-Y-T-A-C. Very ingenious. I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be holding a magazine. All right, but wow. Is that, and I wore this all day on my boat the other day fishing. And what a great carry position because you can tighten it up. Here's the difference with this one you really can't tighten it up, so it kind of flops all around a little bit on a, on, a, on a belt. But either something like this, and I wish they'd come back with these last time I looked on Amazon. Um, I mean, this is dirt cheap. Uh, I can't remember the name of the company, but I'll put it in the video link because I'll look it up. But the review here, or the show and tell, this is, I don't like using the word review. You can adjust all this. This adjusts the bottom. This screw here adjusts the bottom tightness. Then this adjusts these, these little ears here. You pull them back. They adjust the top. Then... The belt loop gets adjusted. The height of the belt clip gets adjusted. What a wonderful product. I love things that do multiple jobs. That's called utility and practicality. They not only do that, but then they give you an inch and a half regular belt clip that could go on here instead if you don't like this big one here. I like this big one. It stands it off really nice off off the, off my belt. It stands it off really nice. And this, it says, I don't know who makes this, but they source this, I guess. It says made in the United States right there, made in USA. So I don't know who this is. So it's got the two screws. You'd, you'd take this off, this off here, and you just replace it with this belt clip. And then they give you 
all the toolage that you need. There you go. There's the little Allen keys, Allen wrenches. I mean, heck, I could maybe use these. Well, they're not the exact same size, but now I've even got more Allen wrenches for messing with other stuff. So there you go. Look at that. And it wasn't very expensive at all. I'll put all the links in the video description below. Okay, if you don't know where the video description is, because you're on a smartphone, it's that little arrow up in the corner of the YouTube app there underneath the video, I believe. I don't watch phones. I don't use phones for watching anything. I have a computer with a gigantic screen for that, unlike so many people, I guess. But if you're on a computer, um, you know, go underneath the video and you'll see that bell icon, okay? That's where you click it to get email notifications of my future uploads. And then underneath that, it says show more. You click on that and that's the video description. It'll open up with all kinds of information. But wow, that's all I can say. SciTech, wonderful, wonderful uh, Leatherman holder, anything holder. It'll hold a Gerber, it'll hold your magazines. Fits universal nine millimeter, blah, blah, blah. Adjustable tension for single and double stack magazines. Um, maybe I'm just living in the, uh, you know, a different world. Uh, SciTac Industrial Park, something or other. Oh, it's in China. District in Shenzhen, Shenzhen PR, Public Republic. People's Republic of China. All right. So, yeah, this is a Chinese company here. And then, I don't know, they're sourcing this. It says Amer made in USA. Throwing this in. Then they give you the tools. They give you all the hardware. Wow. I just thought I'd pass this along. If you're looking for a super quality adjustable, because maybe you end up losing your Leatherman. Boom, you lose it. You dropped it in the water or something. And all of a sudden, then you go and you find a great bargain on a Gerber. Adjust it. Drop your Gerber right in there. I don't really have anything else to stick in here that I know of. Or I'd show you some other stuff. I don't really have any other toolage to talk about. So I just wanted to pass this on. SciTac. SciTac. I don't know, maybe the police, maybe they use a lot of this stuff. Magazine holders, the gun aficionados out there. But this was just for you multi-tool folks, you knife folks, you people, you EDC individuals like myself. I didn't even know I was getting a... Th um, man, that's another... Put the belt... I could possibly put this on another Mora Eldris. See, I'm collecting belt clips. And then I got the one off of my Leatherman. And then, of course, I have this, so I can go either way here. Loving every minute of it. Yes, sir. Okay, I just thought I'd pass this on. Part of my checking out some EDC stuff. I don't believe this is going to scuff up your, you know, you bump up against a car or something. This ain't going to tear up somebody's paint job. I just don't like the metal stuff. I mean, I love metal, believe me. I have a 26-foot metal boat. I love metal. But I don't know if I want metal hanging off of my belt to be used as a sheath. Okay, so that is the deal of the day, folks. Remember, all the information about this will be under Show More in the video description. So check out the links and don't forget comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm always on the lookout for cool EDC everyday carry items.